It looks like we're baking today, but we're not. We are going to make India ink paper. And I used India ink, and I'll put a little picture of a close-up here for you in a um, project I did for my friend Deb. And what I have to say is that the intensity of the color that it made was amazing. So we're going to make some intense color India ink, and then we're going to let them dry in here. So I'm going to be doing this over the course of the day. I have some water because India ink reacts to water, but it's permanent when it's done. So we're going to start with blues and greens. So I have aqua India ink, I have turquoise India ink, and I have yellow okra. I have golden yellow. And those are the ones we're going to start with first, but we're going to make all different colors. So I'm going to drip some teal and then spray it to spread it out. And India ink is magical because you use just a couple of drops and it spreads out so much. Like there's... There's a ton of in the ink there. We can kiss it over here. We can pull it around. I do want little edges of it. I don't want it to cover the whole thing because I love how the um, how the 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 edges do. So that is going to be just plain old teal. Now we're going to make a little bit of green teal. So I'm going to start with dark blue and then we're going to add a little bit of this golden yellow in there which will make like a dark greeny teal and then let's do some more blue and let's do this yellow okra. Ooh, yellow okra is very gummy. It's not supposed to blob out. It's ink, so it's supposed to be um, liquid. Yellow okra may have gotten a little funky, but that's okay. We're going to suck this part out because that can't be good. Boop. Water it down. Let's get some more ink in there. A little bit more ink in there. Mix it up. Mix it up. Flip it over. And that's how you get kind of the, um, the interesting bits. Okay, let's do a titch of yellow and a titch of blue right here. on this edge to get kind of a bluey teal. I don't like that okra one. Uh-oh, I sucked up, I sucked up blue in my yellow schnozzle. Oh, there we go. All right, and now we let it dry. I live in Florida, it has we are experiencing 40 days and 40 nights of rain. It has rained every day. My husband has drained the pool multiple times. I think he said if we get as much rain as they're expecting today, we're going to wind up having like 21 inches in the last week or so, which is truly ridiculous. I'm going to make one extra one. Just... Functionally, what I'm trying to do with this one is sop up some of the liquid because if I don't, we are going to wind up waiting four and a half years for this to dry. Do you want to try and see if we can dry it at all with the heat tool? That might be an option. You never know. Okay. 
get this over here. And I'm just using cheap, super cheap tissue paper that you buy by the ream. Okay, I'm gonna try to dry this with the heat tool because this one isn't very wet. Okay, I do think it dried it a little bit, but this paper is saturated and really lightweight. Um, and if it touches itself when it dries, it sticks to itself. So I think I'm just gonna period, uh-oh, uh-oh. My, my wonderful plan is not working. This is kind of sticking to the cookie sheet. So I think the cookie sheet may be good for doing the mixing, but maybe not the drying. Oh no, I'm gonna have to put it on my garbage can again and that's when it got stuck to something else. Well, let's get it off of here. I was thinking we needed new baking sheets anyways, weren't you? <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get it at least a little bit dry, I guess. We could put it on wax paper. We have wax paper, yes. Okay, that's all kind of stuck to itself, but let's get some wax paper. So my husband who sits around the corner from me and who has to listen to me cry about how everything I own is stuck to everything else, bought me wax paper, which I use over and over again until it doesn't have any wax left on it. So I'm putting this on there and then hopefully it'll dry without sticking to anything. This is exciting. Okay, let's do a cleanup one and see how much of this we can get off. And then we'll clean this tray and we will work on another color later. Ooh, that yellow okra gave us a grunge. All right, let's see what happens over here. I feel like I'm getting some pretty layers of color. Ooh, what happens if we take, okay, okay. So we have this. Do I have one more piece of wax paper? I don't. I mean, I have more wax paper. Ah! Oh no, I've lost my wax paper. Well, I'm gonna use deli sheets in a minute for a pinch, in a pinch for a minute. If you have those that you do your work on, maybe you could use those. Okay, where's the one I dried? I don't think it's a good sign that I can't tell which one I dried. This paper is very wet. Let's keep trying to dry this. And then let's see what happens if we dip it in again. Do we get sat more saturated colors? I think it's already saturated. Do we get layers? What happens? What if we squish up a paper? Let's try that before we clean up. Like uh, tie dye, right? What happens? Oh, I better get some more. I have to find my wax paper. This is a little distressing. Uh, now we need, so we have the teal. I want to get a little bit of, oh, this is blue. So we want to get some yellow in there. A little teal. What happens if we put a little red on the edge? Oh, it's fancy. This is either going to be amazing or horrific, right? So we're not going to have much in between. And Cafalon should be super excited. They did not sponsor this video. As you could tell, they would be like, um, we suggest you clean your pans better than this. Okay, let's do, so I'm gonna do it like you kind of do tie-dye, right? You go like this. Let's see what happens. Meep, meep, meep. My hands are going to be inescapably a different color when we're done with this. Okay, okay. So one thing that did happen was it degraded the paper to the, such an extent that it just disintegrated. Oh, I don't like that. 
I don't think this is this. No. You might love that. I don't like it. I'm going to just smudge this. I'm not wasting the ink. I mean, I'll use it for something, but that is not my favorite system. I think the ink is too, um, too concentrated and wrinkly for my taste. I kind of prefer my, my ink like little pools of love, not like, okay, so we're gonna do this. And I am not gonna try to clean this up with my papers. I am going to clean this up with Oh, you know my husband's going to be grumpy when he goes to bake and his, all his food turns a different color. I once made, I was trying to make him blueberry soup, and uh, I, or no, I wasn't, was I trying to make blueberry soup? I was trying to make him soup, and it was delightful, but I used a um, ball of twine, like that wax twine in the soup. And it um, turned the soup blue, and it was um, like eating wax. So, so funny. Our children thought Johnny was the only one that could cook for the longest time because he cooked after we adopted them. Now I cook again. going to make sweet and sour meatballs tonight. How fun is that? All right, so I'm going to let this dry, and I will be back. I'm not going to lie to you. This is kind of a two-day wreck your craft room, make yourself kind of crazy thing that you want to do a bunch of. So you'll see I have a ton of papers. And then we're going to um, use stencils. Um, you want smaller stencils on the smaller side for this one. Um, but I'll show you. And then, um, but do this all at once. Don't, don't be like, oh, I'm gonna make this kind of paper for a project what you want to do is you want to make a ton of these kinds of papers and then um when you need them you have them right so we are going to use what's called eyes ink pearly for this and this is a seth after product that is dimensional paste that's texture that's pearly that's ice, that's ice. Ice is translucent. Translucent isn't good for us right now. We want pearly. Those are ice, that's diamond. That's pretty. <laughs> ice, 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 baby. Okay, um, so now we are gonna use colors that are similar or white. So I have white, right? I have yellow. I have a deeper yellow, which is more of a gold, which is awesome. I love gold in my work. And then I have an issue with teal. There's orange, so we're gonna use this first. And we have blue and teal. So those are the colors I use the most in my work, so those are the colors I bought. I know some people buy everything in a line, but I would rather have stuff that I'm actually gonna use. I'm not a paint supply collector. I am a paint or a art supply collector. I am an art supply user. That's what I do. I use all the stuff I buy because I can't justify to myself having a museum of art supplies. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna take a stencil. Now you want one, this is one of my favorite ones I used. And I have another one, hold on, hold on. Okay, so these are Vicky Booten stencils, and I love the Vicky Boo. So we are gonna use, this is a cool one. So this is smaller circles with a, um, with little jaggedy bits in them. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your pearly you're gonna smush it out. Now, if you have anything else, you could use a, uh, you could use paint, like a shiny paint, the Dilutions paint. You could use, um, you could make your own texture paste with some like pearly stuff in it. But this stuff isn't very expensive and it goes a long way. And I like how it, 
um, I like how it works. So let me show you. And I'm kind of focusing on the ones with the squiggles because I like those the best. I'm down here. Now, you know me, I hardly ever wash my stencils. You'll see they're all covered in Uggs. The only time I wash my stencils is when I use pearly or any kind of texture paste because that will mess up a girl's stencil. So you wanna make sure you're using, you're washing your stencils after this kind of project. So let's get another orange. Here's another orange. And the reason this works is because the India ink and the Distress paint we used are both matte, right? I don't want this one again. Ooh, let's do this one. This'll be fun, because we're gonna get some cool texture and then that little bit of shine. There we go. Woohoo! Fancy. Okay. And you don't have to use the same stencil on the thing. Here's, here's one with the things kind of doing a diamond rather than squares closer together. So that's a good one for me. And I'm not trying to cover, I'm gonna keep all these separate so I remember to wash them, right? This one won't work. This one's kind of big. You want them to be a little bit smaller. You want a little bit smaller size stencil. Little smaller opening stencil. Okay, we got, we don't have, let's do this one, because this is a deli paper and, um, Ooh, do we want to do a cheetah on this one? Look how cute this is. I love this stencil from Vicky Booten too because I can do kind of, I don't really do that one, you can see, but I can do several different kinds of patterns with this one stencil and not have to, and only have, and only have to wash one stencil, right? I know, that sounds very lazy, but it's true. Okay. So I feel like this video is probably going to be getting, look how pretty that is. That's just gorgeous. Let's do more X's. We'll turn it this way. I really love the X's. I feel like this video is getting super, super long, and this is just, I'm gonna be doing the same thing in all my pearly colors that I have, trying to mix and match and whatever I can do, and so I'm gonna do that, and I will be back, and I'll show you all of these at the end, I promise. This is very exciting. So let's go through the pages and how they look. So this is a contrasty one, right? We have kind of um, purple. This is a little contrasty. I like this part better than that part, but we're gonna try them all. This is pretty. That's, that's kind of my Christmas jam this year. Love this. This is, this is cool. I think this one's gonna be amazing. I might use that one today. We're gonna, we're gonna put some of these in our book. This is pretty. This is on deli, this is on tissue. So you can see how they kind of go different. This is nice. I didn't know if I would love that and I don't know that I love that, but I love this. Okay, so here's a tip. I hated this stencil with paint and I kind of love it with texture. So use your stencils different ways. I love this, this is the Vicky Booten stencil. I love this. Okay, I'm still not in love with this, but we're gonna we're gonna try that today, and maybe I will love it. This is pretty. Uh, I don't know that I love the contrasties. I think I like the the color, and but I like these goobers in here. So we'll see. Or I like full on contrast because I like this too. This is beautiful. And that's okay. All right, so let's start playing a little bit. And I have a good shirt on today because I'm leaving the house, but I figured since I was just using Mod Podge, I wouldn't get it too dirty. 
And my apron from uh, Barb Grassi's store, my artsy fartsy apron is coming soon and then I'll be able to play all I want. So we got red, orange, yellow, green, blue. So this is gonna go on this page. Okay, part of what I absolutely adore about doing this this way is how you can get a super dark layer. Now this is, this is all hooked to itself, so I don't want that much texture, and I don't think I can get it to pull apart, so I'm just gonna pull out this little bit that's super hooked over, and I'm actually gonna use this one over here to get a super dark corner up here at the top. And this one is that one I did like um, tie dye where I squished it all together. And I don't like it. I'm glad I only did one, but we're not gonna waste it, right? We're gonna see how it works. Watch this turn out to be my favorite. That's what always happens. And then I'm like, ye of little faith. Let's talk about the abstract art in our art journal here, right? So one of the things that I think of in abstract art is all the different shapes and designs and things like that. I'm hoping this will melt some of this, right? And so I'm hoping that some of these circles that we're adding, see like those circles? are going to be cool. I'm gonna do all this on this one because I don't necessarily love this color combination. So I um, don't mind. That's part of why I'm doing this is to figure out, because I know I love teal and blue or teal and red, right? Maybe I would have loved blue and orange, but I didn't. But it's one page in my art journal, right? It's not, I'm not making a commitment like I did with my wall art for my bestie where I'm spending multiple days. I'm putting a couple things down on a piece of paper and seeing if I like them. Um, so let's do this one. Get it all stuck down. Okay, now that we're here, Let's do this side too. I don't want to use this yucky one I don't like. I want to use something I adore. Okay, how about this one? This is very cool. Okay, so let's take this. I don't want so much white on this one. Okay, so we're gonna kind of come around here. Come around this side, I could put that at the top. Okay, okay, I think that's gonna be pretty up there. All right, and we should be able to see down through some of the whiter parts once it dries. It shouldn't be so very white anymore. We should be able to see if we get it nice and nice and gooey, we should be able to see some of that under stuff that we did. Just through the white parts. The rest of it's paint, which is opaque, and the pearly, which is opaque. And I'm using, I'm using a fair bit of Mod Podge here, like more than I normally do. Okay, so that's cute. And I think I want a little piece Maybe right in here. Ooh, that's perfect. Okay. There we go. I want to go right there because I don't love this color in this picture. But that's okay because I may love it when I add this layer to it, right? You never know what the next layer is going to do. Plus, I'm gonna be doing a ton of painting, um, Posca paint pen on here. So it's not really a bother. I could paint over whatever I feel like. But I like what's happening here. Okay, 
So I'm gonna get a piece of deli paper out. Try to keep these from sticking to each other. Well, maybe we gotta go this way. And I noticed when I was editing my video, the when we go over these, it makes a crinkly noise. So I'm sorry. Either we can do it together or we can not do it together, but unfortunately, it's either crinkles or nothing. So, all right, let's use this on here because this is our green one, and I don't feel like it's feeling very green at this point. So I'm hoping this layer is going to give us some va va boom green. Green isn't my favorite color in art. I tend to not use very much green. Ooh, that's pretty there, though. Watch. I'll be like, I love green in my art, after I've said that. Okay, here we go. Here we go. And I don't know. Leave a message in the comments if you would. Sometimes I think I should just, um, you know, put these all down. Like, once I've showed you how to do it, I should put these put it away and then like come back when it's all done. Do you like to see me do each of the different colors and layers or would you rather I just got to the to the end and showed you how it looked when it was done? So I would appreciate if you let me know because you know, I I do this for myself, right? I'm doing this art anyways, but I have you along just in case any of it can help you find something new and fun to do when I'm doing it. But I also don't wanna be boring if you don't like to, um, to watch the different layers come together. So this is red, orange, yellow. So this is yellow. Let's try to get that. I like a wrinkle, but I like a wrinkle that sticks to the paper. Okay, we need yellow. There's, that kind of feels more like orange, doesn't it? There's yellow. Okay. I'm going to use this really pretty one I liked. Okay. Now, I hear all the time people say, oh, I made this beautiful background. I'm afraid to use it now. No, use it. Use all your things. Oh, look, it pulled it up. See how it pulled it up? Because it's sticky. Use all your things. That's why you make them. Don't save that beautiful piece of thing you made for the perfect time. Um use it in your art and then you'll figure out if you like it because really you i mean i have all the stuff i didn't run out of any stuff i could make another one if i decide and the way i found out i liked making these kind of things was doing a huge craft project for my bestie where i used a ton of my supplies um but that led me to going oh my gosh i could do abstract art or i could do mixed media with my art supplies. And the only way you learn that is by using them, right? I kind of want this to go off the edge. I like my stuff to go off the edge. I think you can see that. Let me move this up just a titch. Um, I like my stuff to go off the edge because then it doesn't feel like, so look at the difference between this, right? Then there's this whole thing, although I do like that color down there. Um, and then this, this feels like, I'm gonna leave a little bit of that green peeking out, but this feels way more integrated into the artwork rather than just sitting on the top, right? All right, that's yellow, deli paper. Oops, that's right, we had to do it this way. Ooh, red, red's pretty. All right, we got to get more red in our red, although I do think it's growing on me, right? This dark part wasn't my favorite, but we didn't panic. Oh, here's this fun red. All right, we're going right down the middle of this because we got red and orange. Sweet. Okay, do I want that much? I kind of want the speckly bits, but not this part. And not the white. There we go. We'll keep that because let's maybe put this on here. Okay. And if I had to pick one I like the least right this second, it would be this one. I feel like it got real dark at the beginning. But 
that's why you just have to keep going and you can't give up on your art friends because maybe it'll turn into the one we love the most at the end, right? Okay, now we got some cheetahs. Let's see, let's tear the cheetahs. I'm gonna have the cheetahs coming down from the top. Oh, I don't really have to tear that off, but I don't want this funny kick out piece right here. So I'm gonna tear this up through there. I don't mind, I don't know why. I don't mind an indent. I don't care for a kick out piece. Sometimes I think, why do you tell everybody this? It just makes you look crazy. But maybe you like a kick out piece too, or don't like a kick out piece too. There we go. This is starting to get more of what I like and see how we have that little bit of blue up there peeking out for some contrast. I love that. Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna put this right up in a corner. There we go. Ooh, look at that, that's gorge. That is, this is lush. This is fancy, bougie, right? And then I don't really like this dirty, dirty part. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna come up right up that middle. Maybe leave a teeny bit of it because um, what makes things fun is contrast. So you can't tell that the rest of it's light except for that part of it's dark. So you don't wanna just cover up things that provide contrast, cause then you're gonna have a really boring, boring thing going on. So, and I don't know how much I got underneath this side. So I'm gonna just do a quickie a little smudge over here and then I can do the top. Okay, so that's cute. Get that push down, okay. And then I think we're on to my most surprising ones. These ones. Okay, I have to say that in my life, I never knew that I liked purple. I definitely did not know that I liked purple or pink. So to me, this is, um, like this is the one color of purple paint I own um, in distress, I think. And it's funny because people are like, we need more purple, we need more purple. And I'm thinking we, the world has plenty of purple peeps. And now come to, f I love how this edges. Okay, so we're gonna come over here. Is this too much? Is this gonna take over my purple? Hold on, let's see. I kind of feel like this goes over here with this purple, yeah. And maybe the pink goes on this one. I don't know, I don't know. Being a purple virgin, I mean like, how am I supposed to know where these things go, right? Creepy. My love of purple is kind of freaking me out right now. All right, I adore, I don't think I have a purple Bosco pen. I don't have a purple paint pen, I don't think. All right, I might. Okay, I love, ah, it's gonna fall off. I love this border edge, but I don't want it to overtake my piece over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tear that off and I'm gonna put this down in the corner where it can kind of do stuff, but still have white on the edge. Okay. okay. Who knew I'm a pastel -y person? This is probably more of a, a, a tint hue, hue of purple that I like than this baby purple. But we're gonna use some pink over here. All right, I think like a corner maybe, yeah. Let's do a corner of this. 
Yeah, because this isn't, I don't have anything down here that's sending me. It's kind of this bit up in the middle that's, that's my jam. Doo, doo, doo. All right, all right. And then I think I'm going to stick with the goldy bits. That's really goldy bits. I would rather not have any thing than to have that. Okay, how about, can we break this line a little bit? What's going on over here? What's happening? Do we turn it this way? Yeah, kind of, what do you think? Oh yeah. Okay, 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 okay. And I do that a lot in my artwork. I turn it this way, I turn it that way. It's kind of why I don't always show you what I'm doing because it's really hard to edit. Because <laughs> there's times, especially in the magazine collage, where I'm like, should I do it this way? Should I do it that way? And there's a lot of just looking around at stuff. So, all right, we want a little, nope. Okay, uh, I'm gonna let this all dry and I will be back. Okay, I have a little confession to make before we open up this book. And up until this point, I've been pretty sure this is going to work. Um, I did it before with another project, the one I made for my besties wall art. But I, somewhere in the middle, I did the thing where you go, oh my gosh, I don't think it's going to work. Look at what is happening now. I totally feel like we are getting a mixed media, abstract art vibe to this thing, right? Look at this. And those are stencils that we use. Those are Vicki Booten stencils. All these are. Um, these are Vicky's stencils. I think most of these are. Oh my goodness. Look at this. This page is everything. Still... Uh, I put the worst paper that I didn't like on this one. This poor thing. I'm not sure this is my favorite, but look at these guys. Really. I mean, like, I feel like we're getting there. I feel like it's starting to look like, especially this one. This one. And these two. I just, I'm, I'm totally loving how they come out. And so... This is kind of why I do a whole bunch at once is because sometimes, like if I just did this one, I would be kind of sad and I'd be going, you know, I don't really like it. But since I have so many of them that I'm working on, um, I can find some that I really love. So that page is everything. These ones are really good. And... This one is really good. Not this one. But we'll keep working on him. So hopefully that helps. The next one in the series is going to be making marks, which is a scary one because I'm going today to look up a whole bunch of marks and put them in my other, um, uh, like, I have a, I have a art traveler's notebook where I write down all the things that I'm going to try. And so we're going to make marks after this. Hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Artsy Fartsy Life.